All right. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, again, basically going on to this, what we're going to be doing, the main important thing where students usually get mixed up with this is they don't follow the order of operations. So I'm just going to say some out loud. I will show you. I will break down at least one of them. Actually, let's break down two. So let's do, I say y equals 2 times 2 to the second power. Right? You just plug 2 in for x. So make sure, guys, following the order of operations, we raise to the power first, then we multiply. So 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 2. Right? Now let's do the negative. y equals 2 times 2 to the negative second. Well, we talked about this at the beginning of class. This now becomes 2 times 1 over 2 squared, which equals 2 times 1 fourth. And if you were to multiply this over, 2, two over 1 times 1 fourth equals 2 over 4, which equals 1 half. Now, if we did negative 1, that would be 1. If we did 0, we would have 2. And if we did 1, we get 4. Does everybody agree with me? Yes? No? Maybe so? Kind of? OK. So now let's go and plot the points here. So I have negative 2. So at negative 2, I'm at 1 half. At negative 1, I'm at 1. At 0, I'm at 2. At 1, I'm at 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And at 2, I'm at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So what I want you guys to see with this is remember what we talked about at the beginning of class? What was the same for those two graphs? They both had a y-intercept of? What did they both have a y-intercept of? One, right? They both had a y-intercept of 0, 1. Yes, Diamond. This? I don't know why I made that point there. That's not really a point on the graph. OK? So they always had a common y-intercept of 0, 1. So guess what? When I now have an a that's not 1, what that does is that changes what the graph looks like. Now I don't automatically have an intercept at 0, 1. Now I have an intercept at 0, 2. However, does it look like this graph still has a horizontal asymptote at 0, 0? Yes, it does. Okay, So I still have my horizontal asymptote at 0, 0. But I want you guys to be aware that when you guys have a that's not equal to 1, your, your intercept is going to change. The graph is going to change. So when you're graphing something like this, you got to make sure you guys go back and use a table of values. And what that relates to what we've previously talked about 